Hello guys, <coughs> welcome to today's class. In this class, we are going to discuss two more problems based on half-range Fourier series. Half-range Fourier series means either maybe we have to construct time series and also sequence series. It's already written, the, uh, written one of the problem on the board. Find the half-range time series for for the function f of x is x into pi minus x in the interval x greater than 0 less than pi and hence deduce that 1 by 1 cube minus 1 by 3 cube plus 1 by 5 cube minus 1 by 7 cube etc equals pi cube divided by 32. Now deduce part you know how to do it in the general construction of four year series. Similar way we are going to do the deduce part. First, we have to take a uh, look in how to uh, construct half-range Fourier sine series for the function, what's the function they given? x into pi, uh, pi into pi minus x. Now, solution. First, you write what the, what's the given in the problem. Given f of x equals x into pi minus x. For our convenient, instead of taking x outside, better have to multiply it with each of the term. What we get? Pi into x minus x square over, over what's the interval? 0 comma pi. I told number of times in the previous, my previous video of half range. When you're talking about half range, sine series or cosine series, once you half range, instead of half range, uh, they may be using sine series or cosine series. In that case, keep in mind, immediately we have to take what is my general interval is 0 to pi, equal to the given interval. What's the given interval? 0 to pi. Now, don't confuse with half range and general construction of Fourier series. Half range means always our interval is 0 to L, equal to the upper limit. L is equal to pi. L is equal to pi. That implies n pi x by l is nothing but n pi x by pi is cancelled. Finally, we get n x. Now, I have to write the what is the half range Fourier series. Half range sine series for f of x for the given function f of x over what's the interval 0 comma pi is f of x equals f of x equals sine series means only is involving one summation a naught and a n is 0 1 to infinity b n sine of nx with respect to x where what is my bn formula is 2 by l 2 by pi 0 to pi f of x into sin nx with respect to x now i want to find out the bn value now 2 by pi first without knowing Fourier quotient we can't construct the series now 2 by pi 0 to pi what is function given is pi x minus x square into sin n x yeah. with respect to x. In the next step, now is a product of two functions. If you want to evaluate this integral, I go for uh, which one actually? I go for uh, uv rule or Antonius rule. In the uv rule, first try to decide which one is u function, which one is v function pi x minus x square is 0 after the few derivatives, after the second derivative, therefore keep this as you, sine functions are v function because sine function is not equal to 0 up to the nth derivative, 2 by pi goes infinitely, the derivative of sine in it. Keep outside, from the uv rule, u function into integration of v function, what is integration of sine is minus cos of nx divided by quotient of x is n minus what is derivative of first term pi into derivative of x is 1 minus what is derivative of x is 
square 2x into again at integrate while doing integration keep the constant what's the constant minus uh, uh, minus 1 by n is a constant keep it outside now after that yeah. keep it outside now what we get minus 1 by n as itself what is integration of cos sin in x by again we get another n we get n square plus what is derivative of i is 0 minus 2 into derivative of x with respect to x is 1. Okay, again I have to integrate. What is integration of sign minus? You already have minus. We get minus into minus plus cos nx by n2. Now most of the students they are doing mistake here. Once we get negative sign they are going to write minus into minus plus. Don't write like that. Once you take this minus here while doing here. Uh, integration of sign what we get minus is wrong. Suppose you did small mistake taking signal sign, enter the values wrong, the construction also is not correct. Finally, you are expecting out of that uh, one mark, out of seven or six, five, like that. Okay. Now that's why Austin should have to be careful. That's why I insist the student, what we get in the first integral, you please write it in flower bracket. In the second integral, flower bracket. Now, as simplified, inside the flower bracket itself, we get minus sign. That's why. Whenever we get simplification is possible, you do it inside the flower bracket. Don't take, don't carry that negative sign with outside of the flower bracket. Okay? That's my, that is a very, very important. We are going to stop here. Why? Because observe here, the, derivative, the constant is, what is the next higher derivative of the constant? Zero. Is already discussed in the previous videos. Whenever we are going to use UV rule or Banavis rule, in that case, once we get a derivative value is constant, that's the last term of the corresponding UV rule or Banavis rule. In the next step, carefully we are going to apply the limits. I told this point also, I discussed in so many problems, whenever having a product of sine or cos function, before going to apply the upper and lower limit term by term, first you verify what happened that trigonometric function corresponding to the given limit. Cos of nx for x is equal to pi. Upper limit is pi. x is equal to pi means cos n pi. What is cos n pi value? Minus 1 to the power of n. x is equal to 0, cos 0. What is cos 0 is? This shows that cosine function is not equal to 0 for both upper and lower limit. Similarly, I have to verify sin nx for x is equal to pi. x is equal to pi means sin n pi. What is sin n pi value? You already know that sin n pi is, yeah, just a minute. I have to write uh, clearly x is equal to pi, yeah. Sin n pi. What is sin n pi value? Is 0. Again, I have to put x is equal to 0 for sin nx. What we get? Sin 0. What is sin 0? Is 0. This shows that both upper and limit, lower limit sin function is 0. Whenever having the product of sin function, we have to write that uh, in fact, the, this is 0 means product must be 0. In the next step, we are going to apply uh, upper and lower limit, those they have a term having cosine function. While applying upper and lower limit, keep the constant outside, minus 1 by n. Apply the upper limit. What is my upper limit? Pi, pi into pi i square minus x is pi, we get pi square. Observe carefully, x is pi, pi square. Here, pi into pi, pi square into cos n pi. What is cos n pi? Is minus 1 to the power of n. Minus x is 0, x is 0, what happened? This factor must be 0, cos 0 is 1. Now, in the next step, plus into minus is minus 2 by n cube of apply the upper limit. What's the upper limit? Cos n pi minus 1 to the power of n minus cos 0 is 1. Observe carefully here, pi square minus pi square is 0, the entire this term is 0, and also this is also 0. The only remaining this term. While taking uh, uh, this term, what I'm going to do here, I'm taking uh, 
negative sign inside the flower bracket, 2 into 2, 4, 4 pi pi n cube of 1 minus of minus 1 to the power of n. This is my bn. This is my bn. Now here observe carefully, once we get bn, what we are going to do further? Now before moving to the next step, first I have to verify whether this bn is true. Means it's finite for n ranging from 1 to infinity. How can you know that? I told number of times, once you get a n or bn, put the denominator n factor. What is denominator n factor is n cube equal to 0. And then you find out the value of n. What we get? n is 0. n is 0, only we get denominator 0. Then whenever we get denominator 0, then, then only we are expecting the value of the uh, bn is infinity. But here n is 0. <coughs> 0 is not included here because summation start from 1 to infinity. Therefore, what we are going to write, confidently I can write this is true for n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. After this step, before moving to the construction of Fourier series, this point also explains so many problems. Whenever inside the flower bracket have one of the term is 1, another term is minus 1 to the power of 10. Some even cases commonly 0 and odd cases may be, we get common value. Now carefully observe here, uh, the one of the thing is uh, 1 minus of minus 1 to the power of 10. The answer is to the n is 1 because n ranging from 1 to infinity means n may be even, n may be odd. Do odd value, say 1, minus of minus 2. Put n is equal to 3, minus 1 whole cube. What is minus 1 whole cube? Minus, minus into minus plus 2. This shows that commonly we get 2 if n is odd. Okay? Suppose put e1, minus 1 whole square, 1 minus 1. Minus 1 to the power of 4, we get 1, 1 minus 1, 0 if n is even. Okay. Therefore, instead of writing uh, the next step, we are commonly we have to take in odd case, we get this flower bracket is 2, 4 2s are 8 divided by pi n cube if n is odd. If n is odd. <laughs> next is, now 0. This flower bracket is 0, whatever the product must be 0. If n is even. Observe carefully, this flower bracket 0 means product must be 0. Therefore, this is bn is 0 for n is equal to even, say 2, 4, 6, etc. The next, based on that, we are going to construct a Fourier series. If of x equals, yeah, while construction of Fourier series, a critical constant outside was a constant and also while writing a summation, we have to take only a Hard number because even cases are 0, 8 pi, pi is a constant. Summation, we are going to consider only hard case. Whenever we are considering only hard cases or even case, first we have to mention first two hard numbers. What are the first two hard numbers? 1 and 3. Suppose we are considering only even cases, we have to take first two even numbers. What are the first two, two in numbers? 2, 4. Now, once you write the first two hard numbers, say 1, comma 3, means, uh, that means actually only we consider odd values. Suppose we are writing simply n ranging from 1 to infinity means we are consider both even or odd. n is 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. Whenever you are taking only odd values, must and should have to mention first two odd values then that implies only we consider odd values. One by Similarly, same thing for even case. 1 by n cube into sin nx. This is nothing but uh, actually construction of uh, what about uh, Fourier series. Half range Fourier sign series is the required half range half range uh, sign series. Given function over or say interval 0 to 1. But not only I required only a construction of half range sign series, I want to deduce the result. 
Now, first, for our reference, I'm going to write in the right side corner what the result we are expecting in the problem. Deduce part is 1 by 1 cube minus 1 by 3 cube plus 1 by 5 cube minus 1 by 7 cube plus etc. must be equal to what? 5 cube by 30. And also, uh, this is the same. Now, I told number of times on my previous video, whenever I'm doing a deduce part, we don't have any particular method to deduce the result. Now, only thing is, observe, you compare the, what we construct the half-range Fourier sine series to the required result based on that and to choose the suitable value of x. Once you choose the value of x, after that, verify whether that value of x is belongs to the given limit. Then only we are going to put the corresponding value of x in the construction of what you constructed in the Fourier half-range sine series. Suppose you expand the series, don't worry about the constant. Expand that, what we get 1 by 1 cube sin x. And then put n is equal to 2, 2 cube sin 2x, like that we get. But we don't want r, uh, even terms. We don't, yeah, it's fine 1 cube, 2 cube, like that. But in this uh, uh, result, it's not involving any. Uh, what actually even terms only have 1 cube, 3 cube, 5 cube, 7 cube. We don't have any even. But here this expansion expand that we get in terms of both even or odd and also involving sin x, sin 2x, sin 3x, sin 4x like that. Now I want to convert. I don't want sin in x here but the required only the odd uh, terms and also required alternately plus and minus. So this shows that now we already know that anyway here involving sine function. Okay. Therefore, suppose I to choose, you know that what's the value of uh, sine of n pi by 2? What is sine of n pi by 2 value? Is plus or minus 1 if n is odd. 0 if n is even. Yeah, observe carefully. I don't want even case. I want only odd case, but alternately I require what? Plus minus. Therefore, this value is suitable. Why I choose this? Because anyway I have a function sign. You know that sign of n pi by 2 only retain the odd numbers. We get plus or minus and zero even cases. So automatically eliminate even case. Therefore, what we are going to choose the value of x is pi by 2. But anyway, this pi by 2 is in the range 0 to 5. Therefore, no issue. Therefore, then we are going to take confidently the value of x is put x is equal to pi by 2 in star. We get this is a way to compare to choose the suitable value of x. Now, what we get actually f of pi by 2 is nothing but 8 by pi to now I have to take summation anyway have only odd value no, no issue yeah we don't have any even uh, value sign of n pi by 2 yeah now here I explain a little bit wrong here yeah observe this anyway or already have only odd values please observe carefully yeah. anyway in the series you have odd values okay 1 by 3 cube. What's the next value of n is 3? 3 cube sin x. What's the next value of uh, n is 5? Uh, only odd value. 1 by 5 cube sin 5 x, etc. Okay? This, this is a thing uh, we get. But here I don't want sin. I want plus minus. But here we get only a positive sign. Suppose expand directly. And also involve sin sin 3x. Therefore, what I did, I choose sin of put x is equal to pi by 2. Sin of pi by 2 only is happening the odd. But anyway, summation also having odd, there is no issue. Uh, even case is 0. Now, 1, 2, 3, etc. Are clear? Why I have to choose x is equal to pi by 2? Because I want alternately plus minus. Directly we get 1 by 2, 1 by 3 cube. But I don't want uh, sin x. Instead of sin x, in the first term I required 1. 
in the second term instead of sin 3x I have prepared minus 1. Therefore, which one is suitable? This one is suitable. So, x is equal to pi by 2. Once you put x is equal to pi by 2, now I have to find out what happened. What's my given function? Given function is f of x is equal to pi uh, x into pi minus x. What is my f of pi by 2? It is nothing but pi by 2 into pi minus pi by 2. Pi minus pi by 2. Now pi minus uh, pi by 2. Now here observe carefully if you want to write once again for this. This implies f of x, f of pi by 2 is nothing but what? pi by 2 into pi minus pi by 2. Simplify that. pi by 2 into pi by 2, what we get? pi squared by 4. This is f of pi by 2. After the simplification bracket also we get pi by 2, pi by 2 we get pi squared by 4. Now we have to substitute the value of this pi squared by 4. And take uh, this as a cross multiplication, pi by 3. Nothing but expand this series 1 by 1 2 of sin n is equal to 1. n is equal to 1. What is sin pi by 2? 1. What x is equal to yeah, n is yeah, what about uh, n is equal to 3? What we get sin of 3 pi by 2. What is sin of 3 pi by 2? Is minus 1. Minus 1 by 3 2. Next put n is equal to 5. What is sin of 5 pi by 2? Is minus uh, is plus sin of pi pi by 2 is nothing but 1. Therefore, we get this is nothing but plus 1 by pi 2. So, sin of 7 pi 7 pi by 2 is nothing but minus what we get 1 by 7 k plus etc. To simplify that, finally we get pi q by 32 is equal to 1 by 1 q minus 1 by 3 q plus 1 by pi, pi q minus 1 by 7 q plus etc. Now automatically after the simplification we get the required result of the get this part. This is a, we are expecting that. Now keep in mind we are having one 3. I did a small mistake here. Once you expand that we get only R term fine. We don't have any even term. Only we get R term. You don't get any even. But in spite of all the terms we get positive, but I required all alternative plus minus. Therefore, I'm going to choose the value of x is pi by 2. Once you choose x uh, pi by 2, this become 1, this become minus, this become plus, next one is minus. Then automatically we get our required deduce part. This is a way to deduce the required result from the uh, given function in the corresponding limit. After you construct either a Fourier series or maybe series. I'm, go I'm, I'm going to do a little bit zoom out. Uh, now I'm showing the entire program in one screenshot. Uh, yeah. Observe. This is the entire problem what I discussed now today. First, first problem. x into pi minus x. Now this is a way to do it. We already familiar with how to apply UV rule uh, and then how to deduce part in the construction of Fourier series. Therefore now in offering this easy compared to construction because you are already familiar with all the steps. Now this is a, in one full screen this is our uh, what we discuss one problem. Okay. Now I move to the next problem. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Now move to the next problem. Second problem. This problem actually took time. Only I'm discussing that there's some important problem and also standard problem of range. Rest of the problems, you please go through my course material. I have solved so many problems. Cosine series expansion of f of x equals x sin x. This is one of important problem. 
in 0 to pi and hence deduce that One plus of two divided by one into three not one point three. This is the similar type deduced part we already discussed way in Fourier construction of Fourier series. One into three minus two divided by three into five plus two divided by five into seven minus etc. Okay, must be equal to five. This is nothing but the problem. Obtain half range for your cosine series uh, expansion of f of x equal to x sin s over the inverse 0, 5 and deduce part. You, we already discussed in the previous one. Similarly, we are going to do the deduce part. First, we are going to construct the for your half range for your sine, sorry, cosine series, not sine series, cosine series. What's given here? Given is f of x is equal to x sin x. What's the interval? 0, 5. We have construct uh, what actually? Half range Fourier cosine series. In both sine and uh, sine series and cosine series range in the interval what? 0 to 5. Don't apply again once again even or odd. Keep in mind half range we already done everything half of that they are asking. Don't take again half of that. There is no meaning. Okay, 0 to L, 0 to pi. From that, immediately we get what's the value of L? L is 5. That implies N pi x by L is what? Pi pi cancel in x. <coughs> now I have to write half range. Cosine series for f of x over or say interval 0, 5 is f of x equals a naught by 2 plus summation in ranging from 1 to infinity a n cos n x where what is my a naught? 2 by L is 2 by pi, 0 to pi, f of x dx. What is my a n? 2 by pi, 0 to pi, f of x into cos in x with respect to x. Now I have to find out 1 by 1 a naught and a n. First, we are going to find out A naught. A naught is 2 by pi, 0 to pi. What's a function? X sin x with respect to x. You go for which rule here? UV rule. While taking UV rule, because it's a product of two functions, this is my U function, this is my V function. Why? Because after the first derivative, x is 0. Okay? Now here, now uh, here what we get actually, 2 by pi, x into what is integration of sine minus cos x, by the quotient of x is 1, minus what is derivative of x is 1, again integrate, while doing integration of cos, keep the minus sign outside, what is integration of cos sine x divided by quotient of x is 1 only. We are going to stop to evaluate the integral. Why? Because uh, here derivative value is constant. Now before moving to the next step, we have to verify cos and sine for both upper and lower mid. For cos x for x is equal to pi. For x is equal to pi, cos x is what cos y? What is cos y is minus 1. For x is equal to 0, cos 0 is 1. Okay, fine. Next, move to sin x. For sin x, 
x is equal to 5. x is equal to 5 sine 5. What is sine 5 value? Sine 0 is 0. Okay, 5. Now move to the next step 2 by 5 half. Up, keep the negative sign outside, update the upper limit. 5 into cos 5. What is cos 5? Is minus 1. Minus x is 0, cos 0 is 1. Minus in this we already know that not necessary to apply the limit for this because just now we calculated sin x is upper and lower limit must be 0. Therefore, not necessary to uh, write this uh, step. Now, I have to leave it as it is. Okay. This is 0. Minus into minus plus uh, whatever term pi pi. We observe 2 by pi. Suppose you confuse, you write it another step. Minus into minus plus what we get pi. Now what we get to a naught is 2. Similarly, I have to find out n. A n equals, yeah, we are finding a n. A n equals 2 by pi, 0 to pi, f of x is x into sin x, and then cos nx with respect to x. Okay? The, in the next step, now observe carefully here having a product of three functions. Product of how many functions? Three functions. x, sin x, and cos nx. What we are going to do here, you take the product of these two functions, try to convert product of these two trigonometric functions must be a sum or difference of two trigonometric functions by using transformation formula. We already know that this is similar to 2 sin a cos b. Sin and cos is there. What is 2 sin a? 2 sin a, yeah. Better to move a little bit inside because this uh, otherwise uh, the space is waste. No, that's fine. Yeah. Two sin a cos b. What is two sin a cos b? Sin of a plus b minus sin plus sin of a minus. plus sin of a minus b. 2 sin a cos b sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b. What is a here? a is x. What is b here? nx. Therefore, what we get uh, a plus b is 1, x is common, 1 plus n into x. What is my a minus b is what actually? 1 minus n into x. Now, from this I take a 2 inside, what we get 2 sin x cos n x is nothing but 0 to pi x into, yeah, cos uh, sin of a plus b, what is a plus b is 1 plus n into x, okay, plus sin of a minus b, what is a minus b, 1 minus n into x, with respect to x. What we are going to do here, next step, you multiply it by x with each term. Take integration of first term, integration of the second term. 1 by pi of using linear property. First you multiply it by x, from the linear property, take integration of first term and integration of the second term. Plus 0 to pi x into sin of 1 minus n of x with respect to x. Okay, fine. In the next step, in each term is a product of two functions. Therefore, I go for which rule? UV rule or Bernoulli's rule. Why taking UV rule? X is U, U function. The remaining has to be because after the first derivative, X is 0. Okay. Now, here in the next step, okay. next step, 1 by pi of from the UV rule, x into integration of sine minus cos of 
1 plus n into x divided by quotient of x. What is quotient of x is 1 plus n. Minus what is derivative of x is 1. Again I to integrate cos. While doing integration of cos, I'll keep which one is constant? Minus. Minus, minus of 1 by 1 plus n is constant. Integration of cos is sin of 1 plus n into x divided by again we get 1 plus n whole square. Okay. Now once we get a constant not necessary to move the further step because you already know that what is higher derivative of constant must be 0 plus x into again I move to the second term what is integration of sin minus cos of 1 minus n into x divided by quotient of x is 1 minus n minus of what is the differentiation of x is 1 again I to integrate while doing integration I will keep minus of 1 minus uh, uh, n as constant integration of cos is sin of 1 minus n into x divided by we get another 1 minus n because it's quotient of x whole square now I have to stop this also because uh, here the derivative value is constant now close the square bracket also Carefully, I have to do this. Before moving to the next step, we have to apply the value of uh, upper and lower limit for the each and every term. First, you verify what happened trigonometry function sin and cos corresponding upper and lower limit. Therefore, now first I have to verify cos of 1 plus n into pi. Suppose you apply the upper limit for this, what we get cos of 1 plus n into pi. Similar type problem we already discussed varying construction of Fourier series for x cos x. Cos of pi plus n pi. Cos of pi plus theta. What is cos of pi plus theta is minus cos theta. What is theta? n pi. Cos n pi is nothing but minus 1 to the power of n. This is the value of cos of 1 plus n into pi. Similarly, cos of, yeah, and also you know that cos 0. What is cos 0 is 1. Now I have to know this 1 minus n also. 1 minus n into pi. Again I have to simplify cos of pi minus theta. What is cos of pi minus theta is minus cos theta minus cos n pi. What we get? Minus of minus 1 to the power of n. Similarly I have to find out based on sin. Si upper limit sin of 1 plus n into pi is nothing but sin of pi plus n theta. What is sin of pi plus theta is minus sin theta. What is theta here? n pi. What is sin n pi value is 0. Similarly, sin of 1 minus n into pi is nothing but sin of pi minus theta. What is sin of pi minus theta is nothing but sin theta. Sin theta. Theta is what? n pi. What is sin n pi value is 0. And also you know that sin 0 is nothing but 0. Now this shows that where you have sin, confidently write for upper limit and lower limit for sin of 1 plus n into pi is 0, sin of 1 minus n into x. Sin of 1 plus n x and sin of 1 minus x for pi and 0 is 0. Confidently write these two are 0. Only we are going to apply the limit for those terms having cosine functions. Now in the next step, this can also be written as 1 by pi of minus while applying the upper and lower limit, keep the constant outside, minus of 1 by 1 plus n outside, apply the upper limit. What is my upper limit? Upper limit is actually x is pi cos of 1 plus n into pi is minus of minus 1 to the power of n minus lower limit x is 0 but cos 0 is 1. Now move to this plus into minus is minus keep minus 1 by 1 minus n outside apply the upper limit what is my upper limit is uh, pi uh, what we get actually x is pi cos of 1 minus n into pi is what minus of minus 1 to the power of n minus x is 0 but cos 0 is 1. Yeah. This is the easiest way to find out the value of the limit without uh, doing a what about very lengthy process. Once you know these values, then immediately we are neglecting some terms without applying the limits.
subtract. In the next step, we have to simplify. Okay. In the next step, 1 by 5 minus into minus plus pi into minus 1 to the power of n divided by 1 plus n minus into minus plus pi into minus 1 to the power of n divided by 1 minus n. Okay. In the next step, observe carefully here. In the next step, what's the, now we have to simplify further. What's the common factor? Pi into minus 1 to the power of n is common divided by pi. What's the remaining? 1 by 1 plus n plus 1 by 1 minus n. Take LC for this. Now observe pi pi cancel here. Okay. Take LCM here. What we get LCM? Minus 1 to the power of n is 1 plus n into 1 minus n. 1 plus n. Sorry, this is 1 minus n. Yeah, once you take 1 minus n plus 1 plus n. What are the terms are cancelled here? Plus n and minus n are cancelled. 1 plus 1 is 2. Finally, we get an is nothing but what actually? 2 into minus 1 to the power of n divided by 1 plus n into 1 minus n. Now, I think uh, you clear how we get uh, uh, this uh, step. Uh, now, once you observe carefully, now, see, observe, this is my an. I think it's clear how we get these steps. Once we get an, I told number of times, you pick the denominator n factors. What are the two n factors are there? 1 plus n equal to 0 and also Another one factor, what are the n factors? You pick it and it equal to 0. One factor is involving n is 1 plus n. Another factor is 1 minus n. 1 minus n equal to 0. From this, what happened here? This is nothing. This implies n is equal to minus 1. This implies n is equal to 1. But our summation for a n start from n is equal to 1 to infinity. Therefore, we are neglecting this. Because uh, the summation is not included, negative value neglected. But n is equal to 1 is included. Suppose n is equal to 1, what happened? The denominator is 0. Numerator is not equal to 0. What happened? A1 is what we n is equal to 1, we get infinity. For n is equal to 1, we get non zero divided by 0, we get infinity. But that 1 is included in the summation. So what we are going to do here, we can't write A1 is infinity. We are what we are going to write here, a is true for n is greater than 1 or n greater than or equal to 2 or n is equal to 2t etc. Means this meaning of this, this a n is not defined for n is 1. Here we get n is equal to 1 infinity, we can't judge, we can't take a1 is infinity. What the meaning is, this a n is not defined for n is equal to 1. It's not defined means you can't leave it. And to find out that value independently, separately, we already discussed in a previous video in one of the problem by its class sets. Which value is not defined? n is equal to 1. But n is equal to 1 is included in our summation. Therefore, we have to pick our an formula. This is my an formula, right? Now, for my reference, I choose this an or better I have to take red. Now, this an is nothing but star. Okay. Now, I have to put uh, n is equal to 1 on both sides in star. Yeah, because I want to find out a1. How to find out a1? Put n is equal to 1 in this an formula. Now, I have to find out that a1 independently or separately. Okay. In the next step. Put n is equal to 1 in star. That implies what actually a1. Because I want to find out uh, a1, that's why I have to put n is equal to 1. Suppose I have to find out 2, put n is equal to 2. Okay. 2 by pi. Okay. 0 to pi. x sin x. n is equal to 1. Therefore, here we get cos x dx. 2 sin x cos x. What is 2 sin x cos x is 
sin 2x, 0 to pi dx, sin 2 dx, with respect to x pi. In the next step, we want to evaluate this integral using which rule? UV rule or Bernoulli's rule. Which one is U function? x. This is V function. Now what we get in the next step, once you have the UV rule, 1 by pi, x into what is integration of sine? Minus cos 2x divided by quotient of x is 2. Minus, what is differentiation of x1? Again, I have to integrate. What is integration of cos 2x? I have to keep minus of constant, minus of what is integration of cos is sine 2x divided by 2 into 2 is 4. Okay. Now, once we get derivative value is constant, that's the last term of the UV rule or Bernoulli's rule. Leave it as itself. Apply carefully upper and lower limit. Now, while applying upper and lower limit, first you verify what happened. Sin 2x for x is equal to pi. For x is equal to pi, what we get? Sin 2 pi. What is sin 2 pi value? 0. For x is equal to 0, what is sin 0 is 0. And next, similarly, I have to verify cos. Cos 2x for x is equal to 0. x is equal to pi first. Cos 2 pi. What is cos 2 pi value? 1. x is equal to 0. What we get actually? Cos 0 is 1. Okay, fine. Now, apply carefully. Upper. This is we are writing confidently. This term must be 0. Not necessarily confident. Upper and lower limit. Okay. In the next step, uh, 1 by pi of, keep minus of outset constant, apply the upper limit, what's upper limit? Pi into cos 2 pi, cos 2 pi is 1 minus, x is 0 but cos 0 is 1. Simplify that, 1 by pi min, minus of pi by 2, pi pi cancel, what we get? R minus of given value, here we get minus half, minus half, yeah, see, observe, here we get a, from, from an, an value, what we get actually infinity, from here, what we get a1 is infinity, but we can't say that a1 is infinity, but keep in mind, for 1 to infinity, either an or an, we are expecting a finite value, for what? For any value of n, we get infinite, means we are writing is not defined. You find out that value of n value separately from the original formula for n or an. Now, this is a one of thing. Now, here we get finite value. And then we have to construct the Fourier, half range Fourier cosine series. While constructing half range Fourier cosine series, first we have to rewrite our series function. If, if of x is equal to what actually? a naught by 2. Yeah, don't take summation 1 to infinity because a n is not defined for n is 1. I take that term separately. a 1 cos x. And then you write the rest of the thing is together. Because our a n is defined for 2, n is 2, 3, etc. Therefore, 2 to infinity. a n cos n x. X. Now I have to substitute our uh, uh, Fourier series expansion in our Fourier quotients. What is A0? You already know that. What is my A0? A0 is 2. We already calculated A0 is actually 2. Now A0 is 2. A0 by 2 is what? 1 plus. Now uh, what is my A1 value is minus half. Therefore plus into minus is minus. Therefore minus half of cos x. And then we have to write this. While writing this, I'll keep two as constant outside. Summation in ranging from 1 to infinity. Minus 1 to the power of n divided by 1 plus n into 1 minus n cos nx. This is my, uh, what about uh, half range Fourier cosine series for the function x sin x over the interval. What's the interval? 0 to It's the required 
half inch cosine series of the given function. The given function over the interval 0 comma they want to uh, give you some uh, result now for my reference i'm going to write what the result they are going to expect in the problem we are expecting the deduce part here is 1 plus of 2 by 1 into 3 minus 2 by 3 into 5 plus 2 by 5 into 7 minus etc must be equal to 5 by 2. This is they expecting in the deduce part. Now you compare this, this is my what we construct the Fourier series for x and x. Now observe here in each of except first term, each of the case they having product of two values. If we want product of two values means 1 plus n into 1 minus n only. Now I don't want cos x. There is no cos x, cos x term. You have 1. How we get 1? Constant. Even though put any value of x, there is no effect this one value because uh, 1 is a constant. Yeah, you can't, only we are replacing the value of x here. There is no uh, change in 1. Therefore, this is as written. I don't want this. In each of the summation, outside the summation having 2, definitely we get uh, uh, what x3. Outside the summation having 2, then each of the terms suppose expand this summation, we get this. If we want to expand this summation for our reference, just I am expanding this summation, this summation this, what we get put n is equal to 1. Put n is equal to 1, what we get minus 1 divided by 1 plus 1. No, sorry, this is not 1 to infinity. 2 to infinity, right? Not 1 to infinity, but because you already taken n is equal to 1 separately because this is not true for n is equal to 1. What's the first value of n? n is equal to 2. n is equal to 2. First you take n is 2 minus 1. What is 2 minus 1? 1, 1 into 2 plus 1 is 3. Yeah. Now first you take the negative value, 1 minus uh, lesser value. Next, what's the next value? 3. Uh, 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 next uh, n value is uh, actually uh, 3 I want. Uh, we have to uh, observe carefully this. Now in the next step, see here 1 minus 2 we get negative value, right? See observe carefully, here I record 1, 1 into 3, 3 into 5. What happened? Put n is equal to 2, 1 plus uh, 2 is 3, 1 minus 2 is minus. Better I to rewrite this summation. Better before going to observe this, before going to take this, I'm going to take minus sign outside. What we get actually? Again, I'm going to rewrite our summation because here 1 into 3, here we get uh, minus 1, twice of you. Otherwise, leave it as it's twice of you. Yeah, 1 minus uh, 2. What is 1 minus 2? It's minus 1. That's why I written. Minus into minus here itself we get plus choice of you. This is itself is don't worry about that. N is equal to 2 we get this is plus okay. Okay fine. Once you put N is equal to 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. What we get actually here minus sign. Okay. And next is actually put N is equal to 3. What is N is equal to 3? Minus 1. Whole two. We get minus okay by one divided by one minus what is one minus is minus two. Minus into minus what we get plus two. Two into three. One uh, sorry, this what's the next value? Next uh, uh, value of the, this uh, actually n is equal to yeah. The next step, observe here we get, I'm just I'm expanding. n is equal to 2. 
Once you put n is equal to 2, this is correct. n is equal to 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, 1 minus uh, 3 is minus 2, okay? 1 into 2 into 4. What's the next value, third value of n? 2, 3, 4. 4 is what? Minus 1, all raised power of 4 is plus, okay? 1 divided by, apply the, uh, uh, whatever the next value, 4, 1 plus 4 is 5, okay, fine. And then 1 minus 4 is 3. We get minus 3. This is minus 3 into 5. Observe carefully. Once we expand this summation, it's involving 1.3, 1 into 3, 3 into 5. But extra what you have? 2.4. 2 into 4. I don't want even uh, factors. Only I want product of 2 odd factors. 1 into 3, 3 into 5, 5 into 7. I want to eliminate 2 into 4. What is the next 4 into 6? What's the next we have? Uh, 6 into 8. I don't want even product of two even factors in the series. I want to eliminate. If I want to eliminate uh, uh, what about the even uh, series, observe carefully what happened my cos of n pi by 2. Just observe this point. It's a, it's a very, very important cos of n pi by 2. What is cos of n pi by 2? Cos of n pi by 2 is 0 if n is odd. 0 if n is odd. Suppose even, see 0 if n is odd, even, even means what? n is equal to 2. 2 into pi by 2, 2 to cancel cos by minus 1. Put uh, n is equal to 4, 4 by 2 is 2 pi, cos 2 pi plus or minus 1. If n is even, if n is even, I think uh, it's clear this point we discussed already. Where we already discussed, we discussed already where in the uh, second class of uh, four year series. Uh, while explaining prerequisite, we explained this part. Okay. Now cos pi is my, minus 1, cos 2 pi plus 1, cos 3 pi minus 1. Therefore, 0 if n is odd, plus or minus 1 if n is even. Okay. Once you choose that, you feel how we get this. See, observe. Now only we are choosing even cases is not equal to 0. Odd cases are 0. Therefore, what we are going to take in the summation? N is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. N is equal to 2, you already know that this is a value. This is a value, okay? N is equal to, uh, what about 4? N is equal to 4, what do you get? 5 and uh, yeah, 1 by 1 by 1, 1 into 3, 1 by 3 into 5 like that. Therefore, no issue. Please try to understand that. This is we get for our case. n is equal to 3. n is equal to 2 is this, n is equal to 4 is equal to this. This is we are expecting our previous part. Therefore, once you take x is equal to pi by 2, cos n pi by 2 is suitable. Because even cases are retained, our case are 0. In this case, even case, I want to retain. I don't want uh, odd value of n because once you put odd value of n, what we get? Once you put odd value, we get a even value. 2 into 4, 4 into 6, 6 into 8. I don't want that. I want uh, 1 into 3, 3 into 5, 5 into 7, etc. Therefore, what, what's the value of x we are going to take? Pi by 2 because cos n by 2 is retained which value n value. Don't confuse. Yeah, retain n value, how we get that? Observe, once you put, uh, because uh, subtracting 1 and adding 1 for uh, even value, definitely we get odd value. Subtracting odd and, e, uh, odd and uh, adding uh, 1, subtract and uh, add, add of uh, 1 to odd value, that, uh, that uh, tends to which value? Even value. Now, 1 plus n, 1 minus n. For odd, what we get? Even. Yes, even value it comes to odd value. Okay, now what we are going to take here, put x is equal to r. Before going to put that value, better I to take minus sign outside. 1 minus half of cos x. Once you put x is equal to 5, cos 5 is 0. Once you take minus sign outside, what we get n ranging from 2 to infinity minus 1 to the power of n, 
instead of 1 minus 1, what we are going to write? n minus 1. We are taking this one outside minus sign. Now, we, there is no this type of uh, degree here. Cos nx. I am treated, this is my double star. We already taken a single star or an. Now, I am going to take, this is my double star. Now we are going to put what actually x is equal to pi by 2. Once you put x is equal to pi by 2, which one is retained? Even case. Once you put even value of n, subtract 1, add by 1 for even, that comes to which value? Odd. Once you put sub add or subtract for 1 to e, uh, even value, that becomes what? Odd value. Therefore, put x is equal to pi by 2 and also pi by 2 is in the range 0 to 5. If x is equal to pi by 2 in double star, we get, we get f of pi by 2 equals 1 minus cos pi by 2. What is cos pi by 2? 0. Automatically we get 0. Minus 2 now, once you take cos n pi by 2, only which case are remaining? Even case. Therefore, I choose only even 2, 4, and theta to infinity minus 1 to the power of n divided by n minus 1 into n plus 1 into cos of n pi by 2. Now, I think it's clear. Why I taken minus sign? Because suppose here I took minus sign 1 minus 2 we get minus sign. Better I to write it 1 minus n is n minus 1 for our reference. Whenever add and subtract 1 to even number that becomes odd. We already know that you expand this. Now simultaneously I find out the value of uh, what actually f of pi by 2. What is f of x? x sin x. What is f of pi by 2? Pi by 2 into sin pi by 2. What is sin pi by 2 value? 1. We get pi by 2. Okay. Now this value is nothing but pi by 2 equals 1 minus of 2 into apply the first value. Minus 1 whole square. See, now observe minus 1 whole square. What is minus 1? Uh, now, one minus 1 whole square is 1 divided by 2 minus 1, 1 into 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 into 3. Into put n is equal to 2, 2, 2 cancel, cast by. I'll write cast by. After that, I'm writing the value. Okay. Next, put n is equal to 4. Put n is equal to 4. See, minus 1 to the power of n is uh, 1. If n is even, right? Minus 1 if n is odd. Yeah. Now all are even, therefore we get plus 1 value only. 1 divided by 4 minus 1 is 3. 4 plus 1 is 5. Cos of 2 pi. Okay. And then plus 1 by 6. 6 minus 1, 5, 6 plus 1, 7, cos of 6, 5 by 2 means what actually? Cos of 3 pi plus x theta. Okay, simplify that. 5 by 2 equals 1 minus 2. What is cos pi? Minus 1 by 1 into what is cos 2 pi? 1. 3 into 5. What is cos 3 pi? Minus 1 by 5 into 7. What's the next term actually? 1 by plus 1 by 7 into 9. What is 7 into 9 into uh, what about uh, cos 4? What 4 pi is plus. Here we get 1 by 7 into 9. Now I to multiply by minus sign. I take it minus and inside the bracket. What we get? Pi by 2 equals. Pi by 2 equals. 
I take minus sign inside because I want to deduce the result. 1 plus of the minus and become plus, plus become minus. This is a want. If this is we are expecting where in the required result. If you want try to zoom out a little bit, then we have to observe this. Yeah, this is I want to prove the result. Yeah, same result we get here. No, this is this is one of important to take this part. We observe carefully. One minus n, suppose you subtract that we get negative. What I did, I take the minus n outside, I convert n minus one. Put first value of n. n is what actually 2. Once you put 2, 2 minus 1 and then 2 plus 1. 1 into 3. Then uh, what actually next n is equal to 3. I have to put we get this like that. Okay. But I don't want uh, 2 into 4, 4 into 6, 6 into 8. I want only odd factors. Therefore, now what we are going to take cos n pi by 2. Put x is equal to pi by 2. Once you put x is equal to pi by 2, we get only even cases are remaining plus or minus. Hard cases is 0. I want the remaining even case because we are adding plus 1 or minus 1 for even value that comes to odd number. That's why we are remaining even values. Okay. This is a way to deduce the required result carefully to give the value of x. Now, this is, now, if you want to simplify further, this is a thing. Some cases, they are going to ask differently also. Yeah. R. I have to keep it minus 1 here. Uh, two, uh, 1 in the right hand side. What we get? I minus 1 equals 2 into 1 by 1 into 3 minus 3 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 7 minus 6 into Take LCM 5 minus 2 by 2, take 2 as a cross multiplication. What we get? 5 minus 2 by 2, take 2 as cross multiplication. 5 minus 2 by 4. Go to 1 by 1 into 3, minus 1 by 3 into 5, plus 1 by 5 into 7, 6. This is a, one of the problem. Observe carefully. Either they are going to ask this or this. Both are not the same thing. I think it's clear how to do it, how to proceed, especially for this problem. You feel it's lengthy, but I uh, explained uh, so many times, I think, uh, uh, explained uh, very slowly also, why the uh, aim is the student must be understand how I to solve a French Fourier uh, cosine series for the function, yet simple process in the interval. Yeah, we can't go far. It's very, very, suppose I go this very, very small, you are not able to see. What I'm going to do here, uh, I'll show it half of that. Those who are required for screenshot for this problem, better have to take screenshot for this uh, problem. Yeah. I'll move to the first step. See. This is the second problem they're going to. This is my problem. Yeah. Observe carefully. Yeah, what I did, first I had to uh, take the value of x, 0 to n to 0 to pi, and then you have to write a naught a n, and then carefully apply UV rule. In y finding a n, first you apply transformation formula. I told this one, whenever you have to use transformation formula, before you apply, applying UV rule or Banali's rule, in such cases, usually uh, we, uh, we get uh, a, 1 plus n or 1 minus n, like that. Keep in mind, before going to uh, apply UV rule of analysis rule, we are considered uh, transformation formula to convert product of two trigonometry function must be some more difference of the trigonometry function. There, you must and should have to take care either a n or b n, at least one of the value of 1 to infinity is not defined. Such value I to find out independently. This is one of a very, very important uh, is clear for this uh, point of view. Yeah, this is the first uh, uh, second problem. And then before moving to the next step, I find out carefully for each and every, even the simple thing I explained, carefully observe for this. Yeah, you move to the up to from this to this construction. Huh? 
uh, what actually our French Korea cosine is. Okay, I find out A1 because this uh, we already used transformation formula. If I told one of the value for one thing is not defined, which value n is equal to one? How can you know that? Take the denominator in factor equal to zero, solve that, you find out. And neglect minus one because our summation is not included minus value. Only start from one to infinity. That value I have to find out to put n is equal to one in a formula. And then we get uh, a1. While construction of Fourier series, I'll take a first term separate, a1 cross x, substitute that value. This is my... Uh, of French Fourier cosine series. After that, for our convenient, what I take, I take the minus n outside. We get n minus 1. Then expand that. Now, here I want to retain only odd, odd uh, factors. I don't want e1. Therefore, I'm going to take cos of n. Put it is equal to pi by 2. Even though cos of n pi by 2 is plus or minus 1 for even case, we are adding and subtracting 1 for that uh, even number that uh, becomes odd number. Now, after the simplification, we get the equality. This is our previous part. Okay. This completes the uh, problem. I'll, now, uh, I'll come and meet next class some more different type of problem. How to construct a French Fourier sine and cosine series. Thank you very much for listening uh, my talk. Thank you. Bye. See you and take care.